everyone. Uh, another update time now. Um, been a while. I've been about four or five weeks, but uh, didn't buy a lot uh, through the end of February. So um, no, I didn't really go out much in that. I had a few off Amazon, but I had a bit of a spending spree now. Got back to the 20, so you know, decent size update for you. Um, quick hello first to uh, Horror Fan Man. Um, you know, some, yeah, some really good updates recently, some great films in his collection. Um, plus, he's also getting a lot of import Blu rays now, which uh, is sort of tempting me to buy a. You know, on their multi-region Blu-ray players, really. I've just had a normal Blu-ray, but it'd be great to get some import ones, so uh, I'll probably be getting one of them soon as well. But, yeah, hi to Horror Famman as well. He's my first ever subscriber as well, Horror Famman was, so a bit of history there, but, yeah. So, uh, hello to him. And also, um, big thanks to Vampire1444. They sent me some UV codes for films and that, you know. Um, I just noticed them today. It was on my email. I hadn't been on YouTube you know, that much recently, so, uh, but, yeah, thanks for them, Vampire. I was certainly, uh, you know, watching a few of them, so... Anyway, uh, back to the update. Got um, four Blu-rays, quite a few DVDs, which is the floor, four Blu-rays. I'll go with the Blu-rays first. Uh, first film, I've seen it in a lot of people's collections, but um, yeah, it's not had that good write-up, but I didn't pay a lot for it, but yeah, it's um, Night of the Dead. Uh, it was actually filmed in um, like Wales, Snowdonia, which is not far from where I am. I'm sort of in the Snowdonia area, but yeah. Um, Recognised a few landmarks, you know, but the film itself, oh, not that great. It was... Um, uh, the cinematography was really good in it, but there, there wasn't much plot and the acting was a bit weak. But uh, the guy who directed it is actually a cinematographer, so that's probably why it looks better than it actually is. But yeah, but um, you know, it was okay. It was basically a guy had to deliver the Holy Grail, and it's like it's the sort of thing is it's like, oh, let's um, deliver the Holy Grail to this point, but it's infested with zombies. And it's, oh, yeah, that's a good plot. What, what else? No, that's it. That's all it is. But you know, it's, it's not an awful film, it's certainly not good. So. Another one here, it's only come yesterday, so I haven't watched it. Another After Dark original. I've got a lot of these on DVD, but Blu-rays are quite cheap to pick up now. So, uh, yeah, Prowl. Not watched it yet. It looks a little bit like sort of 30 Days a Night, a little bit. The makeup and the effects on it. Not seeing it, don't think it's any good, but we'll check it out. Uh, managed to pick up Piranha 3DD as well. This has got the 3D and the 2D version. I'm, but I haven't got a 3D telly or anything, I can't watch it, but yeah. But, um... It's a 2D version on it as well, I did check. Uh, picked out really cheap. Uh, I've seen the first one, I like the first one, I've not watched that one yet. And to finish it off, a film which I really loved, um, uh, Repo the Genetic Opera. It's like a, um, like a rock opera. Brilliant, brilliant film, I really enjoyed that. It's very different. Um, sort of Blade Runner meets the Rocky Horror Show, if you like. But uh, yeah, um, it's directed by that, um, oh, what was his name again? The guy who did Saw 2, 3, and 4, Darren Lynn Bousman. And uh, supposedly he's done another rock opera called, I think, uh, The Devil's Carnival, I think it's called. Which looks really good, but I've not seen that anywhere. I don't know if it's been released yet. I think it's on Blu-ray, import Blu-ray, Region 1. Well, Region 1, Region A, sorry, isn't it? But yeah, but uh, I really, really love this. Some great songs. Um, yeah, a bit of gore in it. But it was, like I say, more like um, Blade Runner meets The Rocky Horror Show, but I did really like that film. It's in a lot of people's collections as well, and... Not a lot of people talk about it, which I find surprising because it's uh, really, really enjoyed that. I thought it was a great movie. Another one I thought was great, which I watched last night. Uh, I saw The Devil, you know, like a Korean revenge film. Um, this guy um, is uh, seen as just like a serial killer. He uh, kills this sort of policeman's wife and she's pregnant and uh, basically sort of tries to seek out the serial killer to sort of get revenge on him. And he, he catches up the serial killer, but he just puts him through so much torture and that he won't kill him, he just keeps on. You know, sort of leaving him near death and then going back late and then doing it all over again. And uh, really brutal movies, well, some really brutal scenes now, but it's a great, great movie. Uh, it was about two and a quarter hours long, so it was quite a long film, but really, really good. Uh, Picked it up as well, I Am Omega, or Omega, pronounce it, but it was the uh, sort of Asylum's version of I Am Legend. I've not watched it yet, but supposedly it's Asylum's best film, so, you know, I don't know. They haven't done that many great ones anyway, have they, but... Uh, I'll look forward to watching it though, I'll see what it's like. The trail looks okay, so. Uh, another one I bought, which is quite hard to get hold of, I managed to pick it up. Uh, Encounters of the Spooky Kind, which is like a martial arts horror from, from 1980. Uh, ordered this, I actually thought it was a sequel when I ordered it, because I, I really love the sequel, Encounters of the Spooky Kind 2, but I hadn't actually watched this one before, and it was really good, just as good as a, just as good as a sequel, I should say, but uh, sadly, I don't think the sequels, sequels available. Anywhere on DVD, I've, got, I've looked on Amazon and really would like to put the sequel up. Um, you can watch it on YouTube, I think it's in one of my like videos. The full film is on YouTube, the sequel, but uh, just really, really wish someone would pick it up and release it because I'd really like the first one. 
Uh, it's a cheap pickup, penny off Amazon. Uh, don't know what it's like, but um, Servant of Twilight, based on the no novel by Dean R. Koontz. Um, it's like a religious cult thing, religious sect. Uh, I do like them sort of films, I've not heard much of that, I don't know what it's like. But uh, Another Region 1 pickup, Vampire Effect, uh, also known as Twins Effect, I think, in the UK. But this was sort of. It sort of reminds me of like a Chinese version of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. If you like them sort of films, you know, it was decent, some good fighting in it. And then a cameo from Jackie Chan, which was a, you know, it was quite good. He's a, quite a bit of comedy in there, isn't there? And an old um, James Whale classic, which I'd never seen. I really enjoyed it, actually. But uh, The Old Dark House, um, it was the film, I think this was the one just after Frankenstein. He did Frankenstein, and then this, and I think The Bride of Frankenstein. This is the one he did in between the two. But, um, but Boris Karloff's back in it. He did have a bit more low-key performance in this. It was still really good. But um, oh, the, the best performance other than this was the um, Saul, the, 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 like, the main bad guy Saul. He was like the, um, the one who was trying to burn the house down all the time at the end. He was brilliant in that. He was really twisted in that. I thought it was a great, you know, great performances all around in that film, but really atmospheric through the light. Good old creepy film as well. Uh, this one come today, so I haven't watched it. Uh, the Nest, which is like the killer cockroach movie from the late 80s, 88, I think it was. Um, I've been dying to get this for ages. I had this on VHS and I love this film. And um, this is the Dutch release, oh, like 16 certificate on it, yeah. But um, I don't know if it's uncut or how good the print is or anything. But uh, yeah, uh, I will always see some. Um, it's in English, it's got uh, Dutch subtitles, but they are removable, thankfully. But yeah, great, great film. I'm going seen it on VHS. I will have to watch it. Probably might watch it tonight after this update. But, uh, another shameless release. I haven't got that many of these. But um, yeah, the New York Ripper. I uh, got this another cheap pick up of Amazon. Um, these shameless ones come up quite cheap. I'll pick them up, you know. But uh, yeah, this is the Lucille Fulci film. It is cut. It says on the back here, cut by thirty four seconds. The BBFC have cut it, but uh, I think it's for that infamous scalpel scene that's missing. But uh, yeah, it looks okay, you know. I'm not a huge fan of sort of Fulci really, but yeah, it's added to the collection, isn't it? There's a low budget one here called Machine Head. Not watched this yet, don't really know anything about it, if a blind buy, but I literally paid pence for it again, so I'll check that out, so it's like. I got this from a lo local shop, it was 50 pence, <laughs> uh, after, i um, not watched it yet, but it sort of looks sort of a little bit like sore from the back of it, but I don't know if it is anything, it's about um, oh, uh, the people who do, um, you know, sort of exploring places that people have never been to and that, and they find all these catacombs under Russia or something, and... Uh, I think they get chased by a nut or something. I've not really watched it before, but I'll, I will check it out. Uh, the Tall Man, which is from the... I think that's from the guy who did um, Switchblade Romance, I think it was. But yeah, Jessica... I think it's Jessica Beale, is it? Is it? I'm not sure it's... Yeah, it's Jessica Beale. She was in the like, Texas Chain, one of the Texas Chains of Massacre remakes or something. But yeah, it's a pretty creepy, like a slow burner, this one. I have seen it, I watched it on Netflix. I thought it was okay, so I found it cheap. I thought, why not? The uh, WrestleManiac. This has got um, Rey Mysterio Senior in it. He plays like a demented wrestler. Um, yeah, I thought the idea was good, but the um, the, the sort of film we said wasn't great. I think it would have been better if it had a different director doing it, or a bit more of a budget and that. But the idea was really good. I thought about the um, you know when the un, un, when the unmasked Mexican wrestlers and uh, they have to retire and that. Don't they? It's like a thing of honor and that with the uh, Mexican wrestlers and um, yeah, he sort of like tries to rip the faces off people. Like when he beats him, when he kills him, he rips the faces off and has them as trophies and that. I thought it was a good little touch because it's like he, you know, ripping the masks off to unmask him. But yeah, but, um, it, it could have been, you know, it was okay, it was passable, but I think it could have been better. Uh, Daddy Argento's Trauma. This is one that's just come recently, so I've not watched this either. But you know, the Tartan release, I picked this up really cheap as well. So uh, another Argento one to add to the collection. Uh, I managed to pick up Wrong Turn 3 as well. I got the first two, so I thought I'll pick the third one up. I'll probably end up getting all these at some time, I think, eventually, if I get them a good price. But, yeah, that's all. You know, not, not bad. I watched. I did watch that. It was all right. It wasn't as good as the first two. But... Another classic one now. I love this movie. Um, one of my favourite of the Edgar Allan Poe uh, adaptions, uh, The Raven, which is um, it's a bit of horror, but it's a bit more of a black comedy. Uh, Edgar, uh, Edgar Allan Poe, based on the Edgar Allan Poe um, poem. But, yeah, the, it's got this wizard Peter, played by Peter Laurie. Uh, he gets turned into a raven, and Vincent Price is like another wizard. He brings him back, and it turns out that this one by play by Boris Karloff turned him into the raven, and they both sort of go to end up to sort of get revenge and that on him. And at the same time, he goes to look for his wife, who he thought had died, but she'd actually run off with him. It's you know, it's a bit of like a me um, sort of messy plot and that, but uh, it was great, great performances in it. I do really like that film. I've seen it on telly a lot. You know, great performances and that all round, really, but. 
Uh, got this one there, Puppet Master 5. I actually picked up, uh, I think I picked up 4 as well, did I? Um, I don't know if it's in here or not. Yeah, I'll put them both together because I did get them together at the same time. But yeah, Puppet Master 4 and Puppet Master 5. Uh, I had to get them because I don't think these are available in the UK, so I got them both imported. But yeah, they're really, really good. Um, good good addition to the series. Uh, I've not really seen a bad Puppet Master yet. Um, well, certainly from the proper... The Curse of the Puppet Master was a bit poor, but that, to me that's like a spin-off more than a proper Puppet Master movie, yeah. But uh, these ones are really good. And there's, these two sort of followed on from each other. It was like sort of one sort of story, but split into two parts. But yeah, there was a really, really good addition to the to the series, and I thought really enjoyed them. Uh, this one called The Abandoned, which is um, a bit of a blind buy, that. Um, I think my wife watched this on Netflix before, and she said to me, oh, we ought to get that, it's really, really good. And I thought, oh, yeah, it's probably like a normal run-of-the-mill ghostly story thing. But it was really, really good. I was really surprised. Um, some great performances. It was really creepy as well. A really, really good film. Um, yeah, sort of like sort of set in Russia. These these uh, two people go to find uh, out about the mum and dad. Uh, well, I think the mum was mysteriously killed there or something. And uh, these, this, this, this um, bloke and woman go there and end up finding out that the sister and brother. And it's uh, yeah, it's a really good creepy film. A few like little sort of little jump scares on the way and that. So uh, pick this one up as well. This is only cheap. Pick up anything in charity shop. It's like a pound or something. But uh, uh, it's like a Bella Lugosi triple pack. It's got the invisible ghost, scared to death, and white zombie. I've already got white zombie uh, separate release, but I've never seen these two. So yeah, I thought it was a good pick up for a pound. That so I thought why not. Um, a Hammer one now, which I hadn't bought any Hammer films for a while. But yeah, Dracula has risen from the grave. Um, this is a really, really good one. I do love the um, Christopher Lee Dracula films. Another, another great one. Now. I, don't know if it was, I think it was the third one, I think. I think he did the Horror of Dracula, Brides of Dracula, which didn't have Christopher Lee in it. And then Christopher Lee come back for this one. I'm pretty sure that's the third one. But a great, great one there. And top it off, a film which I really enjoyed, um, Inbred, which was uh, from Alex Chandon, who did, um, I think he did that Cradle of Fear, which uh, I've had mixed reviews. I, I quite like Cradle of Fear, but I didn't think it was great, but... This is by far his best film. I really, really like this. Um, really, really bloody in parts. Really funny as well. And some really quirky characters. Um, like I said, the Baptist, like sort of a. Well, a British people might know him as Paddy from Emmerdale in the UK. But yeah, he's in there. Um, it's got this really weird guy as well. He speaks like a Yorkshire accent and he's like. Um, like he, he sort of makes like a weird circus thing or something for all these people. But. Uh, Captures these people and makes them die. Pays people to watch them die. A really, really weird film, but uh, it was very, very blackly comic, but really, really bloody. And um, one of them films that has to be that has to be seen to be believed, really. But it was a great, great movie. So funny as well. But anyway, there's the update. Um, any of you like sort of seeing any of these films? I haven't seen. Just you know, just tell me what they like. Let me know. I might give a couple of them a watch and that. So uh, I'll be there with this. Hopefully, won't leave it as long for the next update. I'll forget in a few weeks. I've got a few more films to come as well, uh, still through the post. But I thought I'd get this one out of the way, but it's a bit of a big update, you know. So, anyway, um, thanks all for watching. Sorry about rambling on a little bit. I seem to ramble on a bit today, but yeah. But uh, see you again in about a month's time, hopefully a bit earlier. Cheers, see you now.